Well, I've got these awesome wild horses in the background here. Out here in northern Nevada. But I wanted to show you folks this little 3x4 Harbor Freight trailer I picked up. I gave $50 for it off of Craigslist. It had little 8-inch um, tires on it. And I bought some 10-inch uh, tires. Or I'm sorry, 12-inch. 12 12-inch. 12 so uh, I got those for, I believe, like 75 on Amazon shipped for two of those, wheels and tires. So you really can't beat that. So I've got $150 into it so far. Just a little, little junker trailer, but it's perfect for this little Jeep. Come out here to the desert and collect rocks and minerals and such. And uh, there's the hitch. The hitch actually came with the Jeep when I bought it. It didn't have safety, any way to hook the safety chains up. So I went and drilled a couple of holes there, dropped some eye bolts down and put some nuts and lock washers on there. You can see it right there. So I got my safety chains crossed, got them attached. I'd have had them put a little locking, uh, a little lock on there. So hopefully they'll leave the uh, the ball mount alone. This does take a one and seven eighths, eighths ball. It takes a little tiny ball. Put a little trailer lock on it. I know these are just merely a deterrent. If someone wants it, they can get it right off. But you know, better or nothing. And this old Jeep, when it was wired. It had the round, I think that's a six pin round. I'll look. But I've got the adapter for it. Adapt it over to a four flat. All right, so that's what was on there. I figured there's no reason changing it because I don't need a, a standard seven way for anything. I'm never gonna tow anything that big with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, six pin. And, uh, Jeep actually came with this little adapter when I bought it, so I already have it. It plugs right in there. I don't know how bad the sun's affecting this, but you can see the the two uh, eye bolts I put on there for the safety chains. So she's good to go. And look at this. Got one of these guys coming up behind me there to say hi. What you doing there, guy, huh? What you doing, buddy? Uh-oh. I think he's showing a display of dominance. He's, uh... I don't know if you guys can see it. I can't see it through the camera, but I can definitely see it through my naked eyes. He's, uh... Well, I won't say it. You can just say he's definitely showing a sign of dominance to me. <laughs> That must be the leader of the uh, of the band there. He's telling me, get out of here. I got something that's real big. Oh, boy. Well, if he does decide to come over here, I can always hop in the Jeep and get out of here. Hey, little bud. If I had some food, I'd definitely bring you some food over, but I don't. Sorry. I know, you're just trying to tell me you're big and bad and this is your territory. I got you, pal. I would do the same thing if I had them guys to watch over. So, no hard feelings. I don't want to turn my back on you, though. So anyways, there's the old YJ with the little trailer behind it. Cute little trailer, huh? And uh, I did switch the CB antenna. I did have a four foot fire stick on there. I switched over to a six foot uh, skip shooter antenna. That's, that's the brand of it, skip shooter. Apparently they're supposed to be decent for skip. It definitely has better ears on it. And I've used the MFJ antenna analyzer and got it all where it needs to be. Seems to be doing pretty good. There we go. We can get a whole shot of the Jeep, the trailer, and the 
the stud standing back there. Hey guys, thanks for watching.